Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, it's Gavin here, and today we're going to make a button in HTML and CSS. So this is just going to be a really quick tutorial, nothing fancy here, and I'm going to be using JS Fiddle. It's a website, you can go to it, it's just jsfiddle.net, and um, this is just the basics of creating any website, okay? So to start off with, um, it's uh, HTML, like that. HTML like that. Yeah, just HTML. And as you can see here on the left, it's a page and there's nothing on there. Actually, this is the right. This this is the right over here. So on the right, there's nothing on there. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a button. So I just press that button. It's like the little error. Um, this, this error right here um, is actually very important and is uh, a container for all HTML elements. So every HTML element, like this one right here, has a beginning arrow and an ending arrow for the beginning tag. So this is like, think of it as a, like a, as a container. So this is a container, this is a container, and this is the beginning of the container, and this is the end of the container. So these are the boundaries. The end always has to have this slash right here, so it's like an arrow slash. And um, yeah, that's really how to get started. And for button, it's just button like that. And that's a button. Of course, there's nothing on there. If I want the button to be like, say, click me, I would enter a click me here. You see? Uh, there's a button right there, click me. So that's how to make a button, guys. That is basically how to make a button um, in HTML. And there's lots of cool things you can do in HTML. So there is different tags. So like a paragraph is a P, like that. This is a paragraph. And then uh, a big tag, in it, uh, like a H1 tag, looks like that. It's like, this is the biggest heading one. Yeah, that's heading one, and it goes all the way to heading six, like H6, like that, H6, like that. This is H6, the smallest. So this is this is the biggest, this is the smallest, and this is your basic paragraph for articles and whatnot. So this would be like the heading, and this would be like the paragraph, and this would be the subheading. So back to the button here for a second. Hold on, let me close these. Back to the button here. If I want the button to do something, that's when JavaScript is involved. So this is JavaScript. Um, and JavaScript is usually, it's a lot like HTML, but it's also very different. And they're used all the time, together, like that. Script. That's the script tag, and as you can see, I'm having errors over here. So, I could actually put the script tag here in the HTML, like that. And... And this is the CSS. CSS is for styling. Um, if I want to make this button, if I want to use uh, style with this button, I would go here inside the beginning. This is where most of the action happens and customization actually. There is class. I could use class and I can make this into button. This is the button class. And then on CSS, which can be a style tag, like that, as well. In HTML, it can be a style tag. Um, to get this class right here, I would do dots, button, and then opening bracket, and then I can make it color, one of these, green or something. And then if we're we're running over here, this should turn green. Okay, so 
the color of the letters turn green. Oh, here's another thing you can do with the bottom. You can make this into a big button like that um, by putting an H2 tag in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, so click me. There we go. So now it's big because there's an H2 tag in, inside the button. And I could also add classes to, to this. I could also add classes to this, like the click me button. So that's like a class inside of a class. And if I wanted to edit that, I would do dot click me, opening bracket, and there's all sorts of different tags I could go in here. But this is the CSS. This is CSS. Um, if I want to do background color, to uh, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. I don't know if that's a good combo. So as you can see, it's like highlighted here. It's like highlighted because only the the click me class, this H2 tag, is yellow with the background color. But if I make this background color color blue, the button becomes blue. And that's really how to make a button. Um, the other thing that's really important and is most important for a button is getting links. And there's a couple different ways to do it. So one good way to do it is actually putting an, a link in there with an A tag. So A is a link. And then the and then the link would have to be inside the A H R E F. So this is where the, this is the container of the link. It's kind of like class but you would just do equals and then you could do www. Maybe let's go to google.com or something like that. So this would be the, the beginning of the A tag and obviously you want to have an end to it. So I'll put one of these here and then put it right here. So this is one way to, to do button. Oh man. Oh man. Open link in new window. Okay, so as you can see here, I went to JS Fiddle display www.google.com. Um, so that didn't quite work. So we're going to go back and have a target. So this doesn't have a target. This link doesn't have a target. So uh, a target is what makes it like work. So I think target equals new window. It's a new window. I'm not really sure. So when I'm not sure about anything, HTML and CSS has been very well documented by W3C code. So if I just go here to W3C, w3schools.com. Um, this is w3cschools.com if you want to learn how to do buttons and other cool HTML stuff. See, this is a whole entire website right here. This is a whole entire website right here. So we're going to take a look at the reference HTML tag references. There's even Google Maps references. And on the left here, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different attributes. So here's an attribute, action, else, autofocus, color, site, postman, control. And there is many, 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 many. So here's the HRF, and it can be used with A, area, base, link. And I'm just going to click on it. And then there should be a target. Here's an example, HRF. Here's another example, base. I don't, I don't know what the heck base is. And here's another example for link. And that's for loading things. So I'm, I'm going to go back here and try to find target. Target uh, it would be like on T. So there's like on toggle, on load, 
source style. Oh man, did I, did I pass the T's? I think I did. I think I did. On time update. So this is for like audio and video. On play. On mouse over. On load. On key down. On focus. On drop. So it's uh, quite a bit. So I'm just going to search it up. Target. A target attribute. That's what I was looking for. So here it is. Target blank. That's what I wanted to do. There's a couple different targets. And target blank is the one that, um, that makes it open on a new tab. So we're just going to run it right there. Click me. Oh, I'm, oh my god, it still has the wrong, the wrong issue. It still, it still goes to the wrong website. HTTPS, like that, I think that's right. Okay, so that's what was missing, the HTTPS. That's what makes it work. So there's our button that goes to Google. It's just a link. It's a link button. And I hope you guys enjoy this this short video and um, can make a button now with HTML. Um, you can try it out on JS Fiddle. I'll have the link for this particular example below. And uh, I think I want to make like a whole entire course on making websites from scratch. And I'd love to know what you guys think about that. Do you want to learn how to make buttons and and stories and, and websites? Comment below. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh have a nice have a nice day. See ya.